So one of the key goals of business model innovation is to accelerate your value proposition. Companies that offer similar value to their competitors are by and large stuck in a, in a competitive environment. It is sort of just banging your heads against each other. Competitors that, companies that offer significantly more value to consumers or users than their competitors, often 50 times more, wipe out the competition, they establish new markets and change the industry, if not the world. Let me give you a couple of examples of 50x value creation. Wikipedia. Uh, I, I, I've still got an Encyclopedia Britannica somewhere that I bought for two and a half thousand pounds uh, back back in the day. So 25 thick, thick volumes of, of, of books, Wikipedia for free. Yeah. And there are millions of web pages giving me pretty much everything what I that I need quickly and, and efficiently, letting me understand the world and everything about it. LinkedIn doing something similar way, way better than the old Rolodex of business cards that I, I used to keep. Sony and Apple transformed my, my music listening first with the Walkman, then with the iPod and, and, and iTunes. 50x more value. That's what we're looking to create. But lots of companies are really, really good today at uh, uh, designing products and services. I mean, it's almost as much that if you if you can't design an amazing product or service, you're not even going to be in the marketplace. Good, okay, just isn't really good enough any longer. So I, for example, I can't actually tell the difference between my um, German audio equipment and the, and the Sennheiser stuff and some of the Chinese stuff that I've got. The quality is the same, the outputs are the same. So how do you overcome that competitive challenge? And the answer is designing a business model that maximizes value creation uh, rather than just enabling it. And the old way was to have a business model that just said, OK, how do we make iPhones or, or cameras super quickly and easily? The new way of looking at, at business models is saying, OK, how can my entire business model that creates value uh, with um, iPhones or, or mobile phones this uh, changes the industry that creates far more value than just manufacturing the iPhone alone. And that's one of the differences between iPhone, uh, sorry, Apple using Foxconn to manufacture iPhones and other companies manufacturing and marketing themselves. Very different types of business model designed to, to maximize value creation and capture. And value creation is the key here. Not really financial viability by going out and maximizing revenue or, or cutting costs. Those are good tactics, but those are the tactics of a, of a limited competitive mindset when you're stuck in a red ocean. To escape from that, that red ocean into the blue ocean, it all comes down to maximizing value creation first then value capture to create a huge space between what you offer and what your competitors offer.